The cup and handle is an accumulation buying pattern which is found during long periods of consolidation and can lead to powerful explosive moves once the pattern is fully completed. There are two main varieties of this pattern, the cup and handle reversal pattern and the cup and handle continuation pattern. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to take advantage of the cup and handle pattern to trade breakouts, how to avoid false breakouts, and the best trading strategies for this price pattern. Hi, this is Spencer, founder of Synapse Trading, and I've been trading and traveling across the world to teach and inspire others how to do the same. Firstly, what is a cup and handle price pattern? The cup and handle is an accumulation buying pattern which is found during long periods of consolidation and can lead to powerful explosive moves once the pattern is fully completed. In the diagram below, you can see that the price pattern consists of a larger accumulation base, which is the cup, before forming a smaller accumulation base, which is the handle, before finally leading to a breakout. From a practical viewpoint, we will usually start to notice the pattern only when it starts forming the cup part of the pattern, which is quite identifiable by the smooth gradual curve upwards of trending swing counts of higher highs and higher lows on the chart. The confirmation will come from the handle part of the price pattern, which is the small pullback before the price explodes upwards. You can think of it as pushing down on a loaded spring to build up more pressure just before the release. So what are the two types of cup and handle patterns? Unlike other chart patterns, the cup and handle pattern does not work equally for both the bullish and the bearish scenario, as it, is, as it is almost exclusively found in the bullish scenario only. Hence, we don't hear people talking about bullish cup and handle or bearish cup and handle because when they say cup and handle, it is usually understood to refer to the bullish version. Based on the two main categories of chart patterns, which are continuation patterns versus reversal patterns, most people tend to classify the cup and handle pattern under the reversal pattern category. However, I feel that the cup and handle pattern can be both a reversal or a continuation pattern. In the diagram below, I illustrate the two different types of cup and handle patterns. Firstly, the cup and handle reversal pattern. In the reversal cup and handle, prices start off in a prolonged downtrend where they gradually lose momentum and become more sideways. Prices start to bottom out and form a reversal base before leading to a change in direction. For the cup and handle continuation pattern, prices are on an existing uptrend, and when the trend loses some steam or takes a pause, prices start to move sideways. The cup and handle pattern helps to build up more buying pressure before prices break to new highs and resume the trend. In both scenarios, the context is very different, but the pattern is the same and can be traded in exactly the same way. Next, what is the psychology of the cup and handle pattern? In the cup and handle pattern, as the downtrend starts to weaken, where there are less bears or sellers, the bulls and or the buyers start trying to take control from the bears by gradually accumulating more long positions. As they build up their positions, we start to see a wide U-shaped bottom, which is the cup, where the bulls and the bears are almost balanced this suggests that the bears are no longer in control and the downtrend has been neutralized. In the final stage where the handle forms, this is where the final battle of the bulls and bears are taking place. By this time, the bulls have the upper hand as they have already been accumulating positions during the cup formation, which in turn attracts more buyers. Once the last bears are killed, bulls take full control and the explosive price breakout takes place. So, what are some of the trading strategies you can use for the cup and handle pattern? There are two main trading strategies which focus on the final battle between the bulls and the bears because that is usually where the tipping point where the large explosive moves happen once the bears give up and get overwhelmed by the bulls. The first entry is the pre-breakout entry where you enter before the breakout and the second entry is the pullback entry where you wait for pullback after the initial breakout. Since the cup and handle is inherently a bullish pattern, the basic idea is to look for low risk buying opportunities to enter. Looking at this diagram, you might think that the best place to enter a trade is during the cup phase because you can get the best entry price. However, during the cup phase, the odds are 50-50 and there is no real edge. 
because the market is still sideways at that point of time. In addition, the cup phase might last a really long time and may not lead to a handle. Hence, it makes more sense to make good use of your trading capital and only enter the trade as the action is about to start. The first opportunity would be to enter during the handle phase before the breakout, but if you miss that, then the next best chance is to enter on the first pullback after the breakout. Now let's go through each strategy in greater detail. The first trading strategy is the pre-breakout entry. So the first strategy is to enter just before the completion of the pattern during the handle formation. During the cut formation, buyers will have been accumulating long positions and building bullish pressure with the occasional test of the resistance level by trying to break out. As the handle forms, it is very close to the breakout happening and this provides a good low risk opportunity to enter the trade just before the action begins. Once the breakout happens, the price and volume is expected to surge, which will make it more challenging to enter a position. Hence, it is recommended to take a position before that. For trading, we will look to enter during the handle formation, which will be very close to the resistance level. We can then place a stop loss below the handle, and since the handle is usually pretty small relative to the pattern, the risk will not be very high. Next, the second trading strategy for the cup and handle pattern is the pullback entry. So the next strategy is to enter on the first pullback after the initial breakout. As we covered in the previous setup, one of the ways to trade the cup and handle pattern is to enter just before the price breaks out of the pattern. However, sometimes the breakout might be too fast or you might have missed the breakout opportunity. After such a long build up, which is the cup and also the handle, it is very likely that any resulting move up would have more than one leg. So the first pullback or pause is a good place to enter because there is a high chance of a second leg after the trend resumes. In the example above, we see prices surge after the initial breakout, followed by a small pause which looks like a bull flag before prices to continue to surge again after breaking out from the flag pattern. That small pause, in this case the bull flag, gives us a good low risk opportunity to get into the trade to ride the next wave of uptrend. Do note that the pause may not always be a flag, sometimes it might take other forms but the idea is the same. For trading, we will look to enter during the pause, which is the formation of the small flag, when the risk and volatility is low. The bottom of the pullback pattern will be a good place to place your stop loss. If you have already taken a position using strategy 1, which is the pre-breakout, you can also use strategy 2 to add more positions on the first pullback. So how do you get a profit target for the cup and handle pattern? Once the cup and handle pattern is identified, you can use the completed pattern to do a price projection, which can serve as a good estimate for a target profit for your trade. To measure the target price, take the maximum height of the cup and project that distance from the breakout point. In the chart above, the maximum height of the cup is indicated by the blue rectangular box which is then used as a price projection at the breakout point. The black horizontal arrow indicates the price level which serves as the minimum profit target for the cup and handle pattern breakout. To get an added layer of confirmation, you can look for confluence with other tools such as, and other methods such as support and resistance levels. So here are some additional tips from the trading desk. Number one, for cup and handle continuation, look to trade with the trend, especially if the trend is strong. Number two, for the cup and handle reversal, look for strong accumulation base to build the move. And number three, look for multiple attempts to break the resistance but also avoid the false breakouts. As you can see from the chart above, a key component of the cup and handle pattern lies in the resistance level because in a sense, the whole build up during the cup and the battle during the handle is an attempt to break through this resistance level. Hence, during the build up phase, we should look out for attempts to break the resistance levels and it is expected that the first few attempts will fail, so do not try to trade those breakouts. These false breakouts attempts are more to probe for weaknesses and the chances of a successful breakout at this point of time is low because there is insufficient build up which usually takes the form of the handle. Hence, it is more prudent to only enter this setup during the handle formation 
especially if the previous attempts have been made to break the resistance. Now that I've shared the various trading strategies for the cup and handle price pattern, which is your favorite strategy? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, do remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to receive the latest updates. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.